Welcome to the IME Community Podcast, where self-love is your superpower to achieve your weight and life goals and make your mark in the world. Your host is Dr. Carla, activist MD. If you're a teen who's looking to revolutionize your health and can't wait to follow your dreams, welcome to the IME Community. So welcome to the IME Reverse Your Insulin Resistance Challenge, or the REAR. What a great name, huh? It's a kick yourself in the REAR challenge. And my kids who are 20, 17, and 14 are totally making fun of this relentlessly. But I'm like, you think of a better name, which they were thinking of some really interesting ones. But, you know, whatever. That's their job to make fun of their mom. That's what kids do. So I'm having so much fun. I'm having a blast with this. And I am so excited to announce the launch of the IME Reverse Your Insulin Resistance Challenge. And in this podcast and YouTube video, I'm sharing all the details of this 12-week challenge that I'm launching on TikTok, but is going to be shared on all the other IME um, platforms. So you want to make sure that you subscribe to the IME Community YouTube channel and the podcast on Apple or Spotify. Make sure you follow at IME Community on TikTok and or IME underscore community on Instagram. And I'll tell you a little bit more about why I'm doing this um, if you haven't been a part of TikTok and kind of following along. But how it's gonna work is starting Monday, I'm gonna be posting a daily video and I'm gonna be doing TikTok live coaching daily, which I do that anyway, sometimes more than once a day. And for sure now, like if you're a teen, 12 to 18, or a parent of a teen and struggling with your weight or body image, you can have me as your life coach now. So you can level up and go ahead and do that and join the IME member community. And I created accessibility for the membership community. So it's only $24.95 a month. And I coach parents of teens so that they can support their teen's health independence. Um, if your teen is a part of the member community, so it's an awesome deal for the whole family. So do that. Okay, so first of all, for this challenge, it's a fun challenge. It's I want to transform the health of, of as many people as possible. So right now, IME community has nearly 30k followers on TikTok, which is amazing because we started with like zero not that long ago, and I had five for a really long time. Then I got to like, I don't know, 300. And then I think I had a one viral post, which means you have one viral post. Then you go back to having like 100 views for a video. Um, I had a viral post and I got to like 700 for a while. And I just couldn't get past to past that to get to 1,000K followers because I just really wanted to do TikTok Lives because I wanted to get on and coach as a life coach. It's my favorite thing to do and get all, all the stuff that I know really hasn't been helpful in our society when it comes to our weight and get to you all like what has been helpful for me as a doctor and life coach and now a board certified in obesity medicine, yay, um, that I know worked for me with my weight loss journey when I lost, lost 57 pounds over 11 months and it was just like discovering the transformational power of life coaching and then what really works as far as the science and um, it's been amazing and so bring all that to you so the, with this challenge I want to say first like I'm not your doctor or your life coach I want you to go to your doctor go to your therapist go to your dietitian go to your coach if you have one all the things okay you're gonna learn a ton it's a fun challenge but I'm not gonna give the medical advice okay so I encourage you to go and get any diagnoses that you have um, addressed first um, that are related to your weight and this is all just going to be like a really fun adjunct and add-on and you are like i said going to learn a ton okay so the challenge is going to be on tiktok it's going to be simple that's what makes it fun you don't need a whole big book you don't need me spoon feeding you you don't need, need me um, telling you what to do you get bite-sized concepts and fun and connection 
in the coaching you need through the live. So what more could you need to transform your health and make change? So like I said, it's on TikTok, but I'm going to share on the other platforms. It's 12 weeks. I'm starting it on Monday. Get excited. It's 12 weeks because that's what it takes to create a habit stick is 12 weeks. Okay. And here's what I focus on. There's three parts to how I created IME community. It's self-love superpowers. So I teach you the tools of self-compassion. I'm going to teach you the science behind reversing your insulin resistance and also the coaching tools you need to get to that goal. And so why am I doing this? Well, you can listen to my weight loss journey podcast. I think it's number seven on IME community podcast on Apple or Spotify or on the YouTube channel. And um, I also call that one shame buster because if like a doctor like me has been working on childhood obesity for now the last 17 years could become clinically obese, well, I can tell you that it can happen to anybody. And if I can say what we've gotten wrong, um, I can tell you that anyone can. So um, anyway, so I started that weight loss journey and really what I learned, um, I learned so much about insulin resistance. I learned so much about life coaching and the achievement wasn't the weight loss, so that was amazing. But I really felt a freedom from thinking about my thinking about food a lot and, and my weight. And I just wanted a more interesting, exciting life and I didn't feel like that was really showing up as myself and I just didn't want to think about it. And I also wanted to be really transparent uh, with my food and eating and didn't want to feel like ashamed if I was driving through the, the fast food, you know, drive through and getting something. It's like for me with my work that made me feel kind of like a fraud so I didn't like that. So that was another thing that I loved the transparency like okay here's the um, food I'm eating and this is all great food that fuels my body. It's awesome. And so I also wanted to get something to my patients, figure out what would really work because I was working in this clinic and it's like, wow, I mean, I don't really feel like we're moving the needle here. We're not getting that much that's helpful um, out to folks. And so I um, so wanted to find something that would work for me that then I could get to my patients. And that's why I created IME um, Community. So first of all, I wanna tell you like, um, the deal with any sort of behavior change or doing one of these challenges is that like there's no summit and there's no arrival so like even though i reached my weight loss goal in it would have been august of 2018 so i'm going on three years but almost four years since i started this whole journey um, it's always just showing up daily intentional practice that's the summit so that's what you're gonna have to do with the challenge if you want to create results and that's how you look at it okay it's not like you're arriving you always have to show up for the work that you're gonna do for yourself okay so that's really powerful and helpful all right so first of all I want to share with you a little bit more about like insulin resistance and um, kind of where we've gone wrong so first if we look at the singular cause of the obesity epidemic and it's our food system, okay? And I used to give tons of talks about all the different causes of childhood obesity epidemic and the obesity epidemic in this country, but I can tell you, like if you look at one singular cause, it's our food system, the added refined sugars, ultra processed foods, food companies created an addiction business model like big tobacco. Big tobacco took over big food. And then we combine it with the stresses of life. Our teens have social media. We got pandemic weight gain. We got a fixed and limited diet culture that's gotten it wrong, tells us to reduce calories. It's a wrong way to lose weight. It doesn't address insulin resistance. We can see pretty easily how we've gotten to where we are. It's not addressing the obesity epidemic on a large population level, which we, we know is true, or helping us as individuals, which we share all these stories on TikTok, okay? So, um, and I believe the power is in the individual, so I love it. And then the support of a community, and community can be whatever you want. Like I said, we got 30K followers, but it's all IME community to me, and we're all creating a healthier path. And the more we learn about how to reverse insulin resistance, the more we can help teens, because you know they haven't been insulin resistant for very long, but I can tell you so many of them are, okay? And so it's really important that we d figure out how to address this and reverse this so we can get this to teens and that we find that we turn the tide so we don't have generation after generation of children who are stuck in this um, obesity epidemic. Because we can do better now, okay? So um, 
my um, vision is to create community with compassionate connections. So that's why, you know, the membership is amazing for teens and parents, but we're creating community everywhere. So it's awesome. So who are your communities? Create community with intention. Show up intentionally for yourself every day during this challenge, okay? And so um, what is insulin resistance? And insulin resistance is a an adaptation of our body to constantly high levels of insulin. Our bodies are actually pretty amazing. And insulin resistance is kind of an interesting, amazing adaptation to constantly high levels of insulin. And there's a couple components to it. There's, you know, some people have, you may have a family history or the genetic predisposition to have insulin resistance. And then we add in the carbohydrate rich food system that we are conditioned to eat and has been marketed to, marketed to us. And in some areas of our country, that's the only thing available and you don't have healthy food access. So that's a challenge. So you add those in and that equals the genetics and so family history and predisposition plus the carbohydrate rich diet equals obesity plus metabolic consequences okay and it's all due to insulin resistance okay if we didn't have the food system we have we wouldn't have it it's just reality it's just reality so we haven't been addressing this core issue with how we've been addressing it in healthcare systems or our diet culture has gotten it wrong and so so here's what we know is obesity is actually hormonal. It's not caloric. You can read the obesity code by Dr. Jason Fung. It's awesome. Or listen to it on audio. Uh, that's what I did. He has YouTube um, videos too. Getting the concepts down is super important for you to understand what's going on your in your body and then how the food affects it. And um, it's really profound. Sometimes that's all we need. For me, it was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Fork in and done. Fork in and done on this goal, you know, that makes total sense. Um, so obesity is hormonal and not caloric. Not all calories are created equal. We have to get out of calories in, calories out mentality. Our body weight is at a really, is at a strong set point, like on a thermostat. So that's um, our body, our hormones are um, gonna just keep us there it's like status quo machines okay so when you are limiting or restricting your calories or going low fat it doesn't necessarily address um, your weight set point your weight set point stays there but if and when you address the core issue of insulin resistance and look at the quality and composition of your food and the timing of your eating and I'm telling you, you need the life coaching and that's really super helpful when you're trying to achieve goals and make those really transformational behavior changes in your life that's so profound. When you do that, then you can change your way at some point, okay? I'm gonna teach you all this stuff, all right? You don't have to get it all. I get excited and wanna spill all my guts here. <laughs> okay. Insulin resistance, Dr. Fung says, is like the Lex Luthor in our Superman movie. So, I mean, it's just like the cause of all the problems, really, okay? Um, how do you know if you have insulin resistance? Well, you may have a family history of overweight or obesity in your family, of prediabetes, of diabetes, of fatty liver disease, of PCOS, of dyslipidemia, of metabolic syndrome, of um, abdominal obesity, you have an enlarged waist circumference, um, you yourself may have those diagnoses, you may have some lab findings, um, you may have some findings on your skin, um, depending on your ethnicity, if you have some darkening called acanthosis nigricans around your neck and different your axilla and your in groin region where you have a darkening of the skin, that's related to insulin resistance. So, I mean, it's pretty, if you think you do, you probably do. Um, fasting insulin is really good. Hemoglobin A1C, blood sh fasting blood sugars, you know, those are abnormal, yeah, for sure. Um, but anyways, like I encourage you to do, get to your doctor, get those things assessed. I am not your doctor, though I am a doctor, um, but I'm not giving medical advice. We're doing, I'm gonna educate you and we're gonna have fun and we're gonna create this amazing community and challenge and there'll be a lot of amazing successes and outcomes, but I am not your, um, I am not your doctor, okay? So anyway, 
let's see, how's it going to work? So week one, I'm going to come on, like I said, and do a weekly podcast. And week one, every week's going to have like a theme too, okay? Let's get this party started is week one. So the theme of this week is to take action. And so action is how we learn and discover ourselves. We grow and we evolve. But only if we're creating awareness and putting in the thought work along the way. So action is not going to be served to us, up to us on a platter or delivered in a nice little package. It doesn't matter what action you take or decide to take. Just take action and commit to loving your decision and having your decisions back, okay? Like your reasons for making that decision on what action you're going to take. If self-doubt, fear of failure, imposter syndrome beliefs about your past self are coming up there's nothing going wrong that's just what our brains do when we decide to take action okay so that's awesome so what to expect weekly podcasts daily videos and tiktok live coaching sessions i can't tell you exactly when i'm going to be on tiktok live every day so i'll announce that either at the beginning of the week or um, in the morning with the video or the night before so each week has a theme and it builds on itself. Get a spiral notebook or a binder to keep track. And like I said, make sure you're following IME Community on TikTok and the other platforms and go to the website, get on the email list, podcast and YouTube. And then I'll do Instagram live coaching sessions once that audience builds because we only have like 260 or something like that. Um, uh, people on the um, followers on Instagram right now. So so the first week we're focused on taking action and starting to plan like one day ahead of time but we're not going to be focusing on any food changes it's more like getting assessment of where you are but don't send me your food it's for you it's you <laughs> i'm good i'm good all right i i don't care what you eat like i did a video on that like you don't care what i eat i don't care what you eat okay i'm living my life you're living yours all right this is you figuring it out okay you own it, you can ask me questions, and I'm not gonna give you grocery lists, I'm not gonna give you meal plans, I'm not gonna ask you to count calories, I would never wanna do that, yuck. So, just be a curious observer of your mind, you're gathering data, you're creating self-awareness along the way. Okay, each day I have a theme, so I'm gonna tell you all, in case you're a nerd alert on here, and you're like a gunner, like we called you in, in med school, those people who sat on the front row and brown nosed all the um, faculty attendings on clinical rotations, which I was definitely not one of those people. I made fun of them. But anyway, if you're a gunner, then you can write all this stuff down, listen to this podcast, and start getting going on week one, man. It's not going to take a ton of time, and you can decide ahead of time too. Like, do you spend 30 minutes a day on this? Do you not have that? Maybe 20 minutes. Maybe you you watch the video because on TikTok they're short, right? And then you write. For a little bit maybe make your plan and then you show up for the TikTok live as much as you can okay monday motivation what do you want what's your desired outcome what's your why what's your commitment what do you have to lose if you don't take action what will you gain if you take action what's in your way i want you to spend time answering all of those questions for yourself that's why you need a notebook okay that's monday motivation that's going to get us started we ground everything in the why, okay? That's gonna motivate us, evoke positive emotions to move the needle. Tuesday tracking. Let's learn to make decisions ahead of time. Making decisions from your higher brain, executive functioning, or prefrontal cortex means you won't be making impulsive, in the moment decisions about food. So plan one day ahead what you will eat and just write it down what you're eating on a typical day. Just don't make any food changes now. Just write down what you're, unless you're already doing that, um, unless you want to. But I would say, like, you're just getting an awareness, and the main thing is about making a plan. So if you go to McDonald's for lunch, then write it, write down that you plan to go to McDonald's for lunch, okay? Um, so we're only learning to plan one day ahead. Show up a plan that we, for a plan that we created for ourselves. And if you're like, I just can't do that or it's, it's not working out for me, then what you can do, the most important thing is tracking. And the second best thing is that if you wanna write down your food and maybe like an estimate of the time that you ate at the end of the day, that's fine too. It's all data. Don't write down any volumes. Don't count your calories. Don't count your carbs, unless that's something you do already and that helps you and that's how you track, okay? However you're tracking, if that helps you and that's what you wanna do, you decide and that's what works, okay? 
Wednesday wisdom, are you owning your health power? So have you seen a doctor, had your labs drawn? Do you know your risk factors for insulin resistance? And I wanna tell you, you're not stuck. Even if you have a strong family history or have had insulin resistance for a long time, you can optimize your health. And it's good to have a baseline and embed your goals in reality, okay? Thursday thoughts. I want you to start daily thought downloads or brain dumps where you write for a few minutes a day. It doesn't matter what time, in the morning, in the evening, throughout the day when something's coming up is on your mind or you feel stuck, you just write down and you get out what's on your mind. So that's how you start creating thought awareness because our thoughts create our feelings. So what are your beliefs about your past self? I'm gonna ask you this. This is something that's gonna be in our way, okay? What are your beliefs about your past self? What, are, what about your health now? What are your beliefs about your health now? About your weight now? What are your beliefs about your past weight loss attempts? Um, what are you making it mean about you and achieving your health goals now? Your past weight loss attempts or your past self, okay? That's Thursday thoughts. Friday fun, and this is my favorite work. So I want you to visualize your future self who's arrived at your goal. And how do you feel as your future self? Can you visualize her, him, or them? And that feeling is what's gonna drive the actions that's gonna create the results that you want. So our thoughts create our feelings again. So what's a thought that creates that feeling, okay? If you think I feel confident as my future self that I've achieved my goals, then what's a thought that embodies confidence now? Yeah. Um, if you feel like you feel fun, you feel lighter, you feel freer, you feel comfortable, then that's the feeling, but thoughts create our feelings. So what's a thought that you can think of now that's gonna create the feeling for you? And it's powerful for you to figure it out for yourself, okay? All right? So think of three future self guide words that motivate you. My business coach works with me on this, so I really embody Dr. Carla Activist MD as my identity, and it's been amazing work. And mine are funny, unapologetic, and fire starter. So what are yours? Put them on a post-it note and stick them everywhere and look at them literally like every day, okay? And then Saturday success, we're getting there, you all. <sighs> How do you measure success? You get to change it up. It doesn't have to be whether you reach your weight loss goal, okay? It doesn't have to be a measure on a scale. You get to decide. Sometimes we can't fully control those things that we've said, you know, that should be the measure and how we feel depends on whether we reach that outcome or not. No, choose your measures of success. And then how do you celebrate your wins? And I only want you to count your wins and focus on the positive, okay? All failure or whatever, when things don't turn out the way we think, is just learning, okay? And that's really helpful to think of it that way. So how do you celebrate your wins in ways that maybe don't necessarily involve food, okay? Because we're learning to lead an exciting life and be in the moment and eat food that fuels our exciting life, okay? So maybe you do something special for yourself. It may be a self-care thing. You maybe go out and have some fun with friends. You may do a special walk. Um, you may buy something for yourself. It doesn't have, you may make something, create in, um, something that embeds that achievement in your mind and gives you that natural sense of pleasure because you're really starting to replace like all the little dopamine zings and false pleasures and short-term rewards that we get from buffering with food with what are more long-term achievement, natural pleasures and achievements, which also release dopamine and serotonin and all the wonderful feel-good hormones and transmitters in our body, okay? Awesome, that's Saturday success. Sunday strategy, spend some time reflecting on the past week. What was hard? What was easy? What are you proud of? And then I want you to remember to practice self-compassion while you're doing this. Don't be hard on yourself if something you felt was hard. There's nothing going wrong. Okay, you're just learning and creating self-awareness. So be compassionate with yourself, okay? And then I want you to spend some time on Saturday strategy, or Sunday strategy, I'm sorry, to put week two on your calendar, okay? Get it on your calendar, and then that will make sure, that's like the planning ahead, so you're getting the intentionality, okay? You are worthy of your health goals. You are worthy of your healthy life. I believe in your unlimited potential to create any result you want, okay? 
I've got your back. I'll see you on TikTok. I'll see you on the other platforms. And um, let's do this. Let's do this. Show up for the lives and get your coaching. And then on Fridays too, we'll give out some rewards. I'm going to have my um, daughter help me with this so that we can Anybody who's posting, participating, maybe duetting, stitching a video, maybe you're making a comment, maybe you're sharing your successes, your challenges, um, your wins, um, you get to be in a drawing to win a one-on-one -on -one life and weight coaching session with me, which is worth a lot, super valuable. And then we'll think of some other prizes, like maybe my amazing children's book. So go to IME Community and check out IME Books and you can... Um, purchased The Magical Everywhere, which is a beautiful children's book, and I wrote it for one of my patients, Gigi, who passed away from um, brain cancer when she was eight, and this gets Gigi's magical message out, and it also um, supports child health nonprofit organizations, which is so cool, and my best friend, Jill Dreyer, who lives in Portland, Oregon, she illustrated it, and it's gorgeous, and you go around the world, and Gigi's the narrator. She's the, there they are in Australia. Anyway, it's a beautiful book. It's so amazing and everybody loves it. So check it out on IME Books. I'm giving a free 12 week challenge and showing up every day. So let's support IME community and let's get this going. All right. Thanks everyone. See you later. Thank you for tuning in to the IME Community Podcast, where self-love is your superpower. The content of this podcast represents the opinions of Dr. Carla Lester and is not intended as, and shall not be understood as, a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. The opinions shared reflect the host and guest and do not represent an organization or medical group. Always seek the advice of your physician or therapist if you have concerns about your health. And please, like and subscribe to the IME Community Podcast. Share IME with your friends and go to imecommunity.com to join the member community. Don't forget to follow IME on social.